Hello guys, this is Frank and we are back at Hamster Heaven at a wonderful little hamster PvP arena for the extremely explosive Worms game. Now time is drawing close and we don't... Ah, the game is going to get released soon. We don't have a lot of time. I really really have to hurry this. I have to get all of the scenery ready. Ah, It's just so much job, so much work I need to do. I actually don't know, however, like how many of the arenas are finished when I talked to JL about it the other day. It kind of seemed like almost none were, so maybe it's not in as big of, a, big of a hurry as I think, but it might very well possibly be. And this was supposed to be like a hot box with hamster food, which the, you know, the top kind of opened, but it does not look very much like that, does it? Aww. Why these things be so hard? Maybe it can look a bit derpy, mystifying. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it can look a bit derpy if I just add some details to it. Yeah, but we are in a terrible, terrible hurry when it comes to this. Such a terrible hurry. And um, so I will try to do some light speed work here with everything and hope to get it done because it's not enough that the scenery is just like pretty from the pipes since you know basically this whole PUP arena will be possible to just blow to bits so it has to be perfect everywhere like I can't leave anything like I can't really leave stuff uh, open uh, or empty, I mean, I can't just make a box with a pretty outside. Everything needs to contain stuff. Because if it don't, if it doesn't, like if someone blows it up and then it's just an ugly inside which doesn't make any sense, well that's not very good, now is it? So everything needs to be perfect and complete exactly everywhere. And uh, I just drank four cups uh, of coffee. And espresso coffee, so not as strong as uh, some coffee, or I guess considering this is Sweden and we drink incredibly strong coffee here in, in comparison to most countries, I guess it's still really, really strong, but yeah, it's still espresso, so it's not as strong. Even though some people will re react now and say, hey, espresso, doesn't that mean that it's stronger? No, it doesn't. Uh, the name espresso just means that you make the coffee really quickly. How strong coffee is, is does of course have to do with, well, of course, first, with the amount of coffee in comparison to the amount of water, but it always has also has to do uh, with how long the hot water is in contact with the coffee, and uh, well, and when it comes to espresso, it's just not in contact with the water for long at all. So, so like boil boil coffee, um, as long you know as it's there's a good amount of coffee in it, it's uh, actually a lot lot stronger than uh, espresso. So yeah, random fact, random fact, now you know that. It probably still is uh, a bit stronger than American coffee because of, well, American coffee is very weak in comparison to Swedish coffee. Um, and you know, no, nothing wrong about that. It's just like, um, it just has to do with what you used to really. Like I, I don't like American coffee at all, uh, personally, because I, no, I'm Swedish, I'm, I'm used to strong coffee, but there's nothing wrong with it as such. And let's stop, uh, talking about coffee and actually get to work. I'll be back. Well guys, this is several hours later. It was morning when I started recording this and uh, now it's half past one. Ah, because I crashed the server by trying to steal SMS ponies for my scenery. I learned my lesson. No stealing SMS ponies. No stealing SMS ponies. But they're quite lovely ponies. I will have to fix my plan in that, I guess. But yeah, did come a bit further. <coughs> Trying my hand at some uh, lovely pixel art here. This is, uh, as you can see, uh, the face of a hamster. Ah, oh, this is one of these little cups where you put pencils. Yeah. And we got a very sad looking potted flower here. Very sad one, very sad one indeed. Uh, we got some books in the shelf. And uh, over here was uh, where the pony would be, but I guess I'll put a lamp or something in here. Um, it's good to get some details in it, but at the moment I'm feeling that they are a bit forced. 
And I'm wondering how to fix that to make it kind of really, really look good and not just look like things are stuffed in there used to have something stuffed in there. But maybe that will improve as I bring together all the pipes over here and do the rest of the stuff that's supposed to be on the table. It might, it might not. I might have to remove a bunch of things, but uh, it's always that way when you're building. And I guess I will now try to catch up as I've lost many, many, many hours. Oh, so frustrating. Those ponies. Hmm, how will I get at them? Uh, no. Okay. I oh, wanted to start the recording. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm guys. not an alien invasion here. You don't need to play dramatic music in the background <laughs> when I'm approaching. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so, okay, um, about the size of this, uh, things are going to get blown up everywhere and stuff, kind of, yes? Where's my TNT? Yeah. No, no, you're not allowed to blow this up. Oh, uh, not this way, okay, I thought you weren't blown up, okay. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 pl please not, please not. Uh, but in the actual game, things are going to get blown up, right? Yeah, of course. So, um, so, so I don't know, like how much of this will even stay like for how many seconds because when we did uh <laughs> did the game for fun um on on the zip crowd uh, the fans over yes yeah <laughs> it's turned down the ground level in a few seconds basically well um you need to know this is going to be a rematch every time so uh, we will <laughs> everyone will have to, will be able to explore it mm -hmm. and we would we could even make like in Quakecraft like an idle time at the beginning 30 seconds before the match actually starts starts you can't shoot in yet so you can just figure out a good position and in that time <laughs> you can explore the map and ex enjoy all its beauty before it's going to be teared down in no seconds yeah. Are people in chat complaining at the moment because we're not responding? Oh, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, uh -uh. Anyways. Anyways, anyways. Uh, yeah, but since everything is going to get blown up, I'm also wondering, like, how much f further down should this be? Uh, should this be expanded, do you, do you think? I was thinking that it would be void around it, and then as the walls, there would be, like, gigantic pixel art. And I definitely think it would be useful to have. Um, well, it's it's your opinion to have an either an obsidian or bedrock floor somewhere, which is indestructible. Um, you could obviously make open floor, and then people who build, bomb their way through the bottom just fall into the void. But I yeah. think it's more convenient to have a. Uh, well, it's it's up to you. Um, maybe you can just build some indestructible parts out of obsidian, which would be also a kind of an interesting way. Like maybe one pipe which is always uh, persistent because it's out of obsidian. Mm. Uh, would be an idea. Yeah, you can make some parts out of obsidian and I guess also uh, when it comes to the desk that yeah, these things are standing on, there could be an obsidian yeah. floor below it. Yeah. And there's also obviously a huge difference be between like endstone or netherrack or so. So you can experiment with that and not only look for the uh, design, but also for the blast resistance, how, how it affects uh, the gameplay. I don't know, but uh, I think there are so many options that it's definitely not p possible to cover all of them in one map. We need to build several ones anyway. <laughs> Um, are there any more arenas finished at the moment? Uh, um, I've, I've no idea. We were just building, uh, messing, uh, uh, busy with the actual build up of the, the new, uh, again, new server that I'm not sure that if anyone built on this. So there are other talented builders which I will also definitely build more of these maps, but I don't think that there are many other maps currently being pl uh, in process. Uh. <laughs> and, um, and this game was supposed to be released in a few days, right? Nah, forget it. Forget it. It's <laughs> never going to work. It's the same as with all your maps. Has any of your maps ever been released? What's about? <laughs> just saying. What's about Edward Snowden? Wow. Uh, wow. Snow You're not, so not, mean, JL. Not, so not, mean. Not, not, not so Snowden. Mean. So mean. Uh, it's it's Kizarant. <laughs> <laughs> Snowden and Kizarant. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. <laughs> Bad misstep here. Okay. Well, I, I didn't want to be mean, but you started it. <laughs> You were picking on me. No, um, no, I weren't. No, <laughs> I, I, I was just asking 
No, wasn't it supposed to be released in a few days? And, um, ah, okay, whatever. Um, it, it was supposed to be released in uh, minus 20 days. Uh, but, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not going to happen. Um, well, we'll, we'll just have to make some more arenas then. Uh, yeah, you, you, could, you could even like make something on the channel. Like, do you want to make uh, arenas for us for this? Uh, uh, I, I would... Uh, I would, yeah. yeah. What What is the progress, by the way, which uh, um, I haven't seen the last update of this video, hamster video, so what have you been building since then? Uh, yeah, you have seen the last, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, so I thought you had built another one in between, I didn't check it. <laughs> well, then I know that the, the stuff over there is completely brand new, I guess. Yeah. So, then All let's press the scenery right. scenery is pretty, pretty much new, the ashtray here. It's, yeah. uh, it's very new, indeed. Um. <laughs> and this overgrown plant here. What yeah. kind of plant is this? Is it a, a palm tree, a tiny one, or is this just... <laughs> I know nothing about plants. Absolutely nothing. I just know that it looks a bit sad. Oh. And, um, like, it doesn't... Like, this is obviously the desk of someone who doesn't clean a lot. I mean, look at that nasty ashtray and there's dust to blow uh, or, or buy stuff and I, maybe I'll add like an old moldy pizza slice somewhere. <laughs> <possibly>. uh, <laughs> what's what's this uh, black uh, string here? Is this re it's resemble? A it's a cord what? that goes uh, from the radio. Ah, you know, uh, uh, right. Which you think that I, you at first, on. I thought it was resembling a fuse and led to some big TNT t stack somewhere. <laughs> 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 No, yeah, the yeah, excuse fire on. Okay, now it makes more sense. Oh my god, the wire is broken. Why is it broken? <gasps> because someone cut off the radio. That's why it's not working. Yeah. You know, usually it would play a little bit of music here, but I don't hear anything. Did you yeah. know? Now you need to turn it on. Ah, no, I have not set up any notebooks to play. <laughs> oh. so I'm very oh. sorry, I have not. Okay. Oh, working well, with note blocks is such a pain. Uh, I might just be tone deaf. That might, that might just be why. Mm. Very possibly the reason, actually. But okay. So about the size of this, um, people were going to have like speed boost three or something, right? Yeah, quite, uh, quite a lot. Yeah. Well, you could, you can adjust it for each arena anyway. But I would say we should have it rather consistent so that it's um, people will know more about what they are going to expect. Oh, what's um, and then jump boost as well, right? Um, it was definitely jump boost. So uh, yeah, you can jump and uh, sprint through the tunnels like a hamster, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of the arenas are going to be um, a, a nasty, a nasty table with a lot of hamster pipes in it, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, hmm. But about the size, so there's going to be like one cage more added, a smaller one, not as big as the big one, and then the pipes are going to be connected. But that's going to be about it, really. Yes, I don't think that there is any problem. I think this arena is suitable for like eight players or something. Not super large, but eight players would be fun. And I think more would just destroy the whole arena in within two seconds. Do, do, uh, uh, do, do you really think so? I mean, it's really hard to tell um, before having well, tested it with Yeah, players. that's that's the point. That's the point. We need to test it anyway. But that's just my gut feeling that I say more than eight players would uh, uh, cheer down the arena too quickly to be actually... Uh, yeah, to have a lot of fun, it will just be a broken landscape, completely yeah. broken. But uh, that's my opinion, I don't know. We'll see it anyway. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm also just saying, if to add too many people, they can't enjoy the beauty of the arena, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to be there for long, it's just going to be there for seconds, so... Ah, come on, don't, don't see it that negative, you know how cool it is. And, and uh, by the way, thanks for adding need, an entrance. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you need more arenas and stuff, I mean, there's always like super easy solutions. Like uh, you could make one that's just in the void, resembling a moon or something. You just create a big sphere and do some tunnels in it. A sphere, not sphere, but whatever. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I know I have trouble pronouncing some other words, so S you don't. Guy, I should start the fight. the guy who can't roll his tongue. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, can you try to do JL, please? Can you? Can you try to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Um, well, um, 
there's other, also another easy solution. That's asking more people in the sub, uh, in the comments for uh, for help. If you want to design a Rowena, just submit it. Uh, roughly this size here, uh, but you don't have to, of course. But if there's something else you already created, which could be used as an arena in some kind of way, um, well, go ahead and submit it. <laughs> yeah, I think this. Uh, I think this arena is 150 times 150, something yeah. around that. I'm going to double check just real quick. I might be wrong. I, would no, actually, I think it's smaller. Come to think of it, it's it's smaller. It looks yeah. more like 100 by 100. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, 100 by 100, and uh, I. Th but it's pretty tall, like on the height, so that's okay. Because I th when you talked about it first, the sizes were kind of 100 by 100 to 150 to 150, right? Yeah, it's 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 something we just made up roughly. I, I mean, it's not uh, based on playtesting, but uh, again, if it's more than 150 players, it would take too long to find each other. Mm -hmm. uh, well, depending on the amount of players, of course. When um, it comes to that, you should really make it like a video on your channel about that, because people see, <laughs> seeing that request on my channel, that won't, you know, yeah. no, not a lot will happen. <laughs> So yeah, I get to get some feedback and stuff, even though this Obsidian platform I started building is absolutely going, because it doesn't look very good. I had to get another solution to that. Uh, however, however, I am going to have to cut this video or this episode a bit short, because I have to go and do some work. And I don't want to leave this material hanging until the next day when I continue with it, because I know myself well enough by now that yeah, usually ends up with me forgetting about it and then scrapping everything so yeah not going to do that i'm very sorry for this episode being short i prefer if they are around uh, 20 to 30 minutes usually but yeah it's going to be have to be a bit short uh, this time but uh, next time i yeah, i hope to have more finished and wow testing is going to be fun it is going to be a lot of fun when we get around to that and as jl said um, they do need more arenas for the very very explosive game so yeah however I'm not the one who's going to be managing that so whatever you do do not spam me with it because I'm just going to be sad and feel depressed if you do so let's let's get JL to do a video about that instead and that would be perfect <laughs> Don't spam me with it, whatever you do, because I am indeed going to be sad, very sad. <laughs> Not that I think you guys would anyways, because you're way too nice for it. Thank you for watching this video, my name is Frank, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. <laughs>